safely died, the army has been deployed in the city. A masked gunman has died after being pinned down and restrained by customers during an armed robbery at a bookmakers in Plymouth. Police say the man, who was in his 50s, entered the branch of Ladbrokes yesterday wearing a gas mask and holding a pistol. The QC, Michael Walkins, said it would appear the customers acted in self-defence. The customer is armed, then he's masked, he's there to commit a robbery. And they can then act in self-defence if they're in fear of what he may do. If they try to intervene, they can act to protect the property, he may be there to steal their hard lost state money, then they be there to effect an arrest. Everything they did was normal as far as we know. A man is due in court charged with causing an explosion in Bolton. On the 13th of January, the ambulance service called police to Lee Gate in Bolton after reports that a man had suffered a serious injury to his hand. 26-year-old Martin Middleton from Hartfield Ward is charged with causing an explosion likely to endanger life. A press which artist has created hundreds and hundreds of porcelain stars to remember the six million victims of the Holocaust. The stars make of an art installation which goes on show at the Imperial War Museum North this weekend to mark Holocaust Memorial Day. Artist Carver Roastenbeek says she also wanted to pay tribute to her grandmother who survived the Auschwitz death camp. This is there for a number of uh, the camps from Auschwitz and she with her legacy has made me who I am. Yeah, I've put a lot of uh, time and effort into this, um, a lot of love and it's, a very per it's been very personal and very precious to me. And Disney has confirmed that the next Star Wars film will be directed by J.J. Abrams who's recently been making the Star Trek films. As a lifelong Star Wars fan, Abrams said it was an absolute honour to get the job. George Lucas, who's yeah, lost the franchise, said his legacy couldn't mm -hmm. be in better hands. And Greater Manchester's weather, some bright spells at first this afternoon, however it will turn cloudy later. Outbreaks of rain are turning heavy and persistent overnight, and along with this there could be some thawing snow, which we're worried may bring some localised flooding. But highs today are 4 Celsius. BBC Radio Manchester. Travel update. Greg Salmon's on the northbound M6. We've had a couple of calls about an accident going from 17 to 18 northbound from the Sandbach and Congleton turn towards.